all right tdf gang welcome back so in this video this is going to be more of like a, a tutorial in a sense so i've been having a problem with my car i fixed it now but the problem was um i had to replace the serpentine belt right the tensioner that is on the car is a hydraulic tensioner right however most of the videos that you see on youtube most of the forums are going to talk about mechanical tensioners instead of hydraulic tensioners because those are more common more people are replacing their tensioners so you're going to find more information on mechanical instead of hydraulics so i did a little bit of research found out that it was a hydraulic tensioner uh and then i also looked into you know how to loosen up hydraulic tensioners you know from different platforms so i ended up going to a website called e46 fanatics i think it was called and actually the user on e46 fanatics that helped me out was a user known by i think it's the pope i'll probably put a screenshot up on the screen right now <laughs> His response to the question posted of how to loosen a hydraulic tensioner is what really helped me out. So, you know, I just took what he did and I wanted to put it in video form. So if you're struggling, you can see exactly what he means. Or even if you don't find a website, hopefully you find this source if you're also struggling. So just to recap, this is my 2001 BMW 530i. It's an E39 chassis. So apparently this method also works on E46s. I'm not sure what other chassis though. But um yeah, so in this video, you're just going to see me using the method that he described on the forum. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, TDF gang. So right now, I'm trying to figure out how to get this, this uh, serpentine belt back on, right? So the problem that I'm having, most of the videos on YouTube, they're loosening a mechanical tensioner. And my car has a, a hydraulic tensioner on it, right? So I don't have a tool to remove that or anything of that nature. So I'm trying to find a method to try to get it off. That's what I'm trying to figure out now. I'm going to try a few solutions and see if we can get this on because I really want to get this started. Today is kind of, you know, kind of pushing it. But I would like to get started today. But hopefully over this next week, I want to get it started up. So I got to get this done first. We're going to try to figure this out. All right, so I figured out the issue. So, um... See where is it? So most of the videos you just see on YouTube are use a pulley like this. This is a mechanical pulley, however, the one on the car is hydraulic, so it's, you can see it's different. So in order to loosen up your hydraulic pulley, what you're going to want to do is get you a hex bolt. This is a T50 that I was using. Put it right down in here. Right in there. Right. So, you know, naturally people are just going to use blunt force and try to knock it loose or the videos make it look easy. But for a hydraulic pulley, what you want to want to do is once you get it in there, you want to turn it, I believe, to the right leaf so well, I'll show you later but you want to turn it and then once you turn it just hold it there and eventually the hydraulic fluid will come and help decompress the pressure here all right so like I said you want to apply constant pressure some clockwise and soon as you continue to apply pressure it'll loosen up slowly You see the bells moving. All right, and that's how you loosen your hydraulic tensioner on your BMW E39. I believe it's also on the E46 chassis as well. So as you can see, this video is a quick little video. Just put in that information I found on the forum into video form, so that people can watch and see. So hopefully you can see that holding down the, um, the tensioner releases the pressure due to the hydraulic fu fluid going through. So um, yeah, other than that, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. But if you're not, that simply means you know the fact that I finally put my belt on that we're one step closer to actually building this car to be a daily race car. However, 
we are kind of past the racing season, so I don't know how much, you know, track racing we're going to be able to do, but nevertheless, this is one step closer to actually, you know, starting to build this car. So, um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, thanks for watching. If you're new, once again, subscribe, you know, go ahead and comment if you have any other questions. I can try to research them, or if I know the answer, I'll let you know. Um, let's see what else. Just comment anything that you want to comment, really. You know, like the video if you want. Subscribe yet again. That's going to be it for, for this video. All right. Peace out, TDF game. Also, just a sidebar for the subscribers while we're on the topic. In the last video, I did mention that I was having some issues on my window. I did fix those issues. Um, I think I have a small clip of what the issue was. If I could find that, I'll put it in at the end of this video. And that's it. All right. All right, so we got the serpentine belt hooked back up. Got the fan, fan shroud back in, everything's tightened down. Air box back in, the engine bay is all back together. All we need is to put some cooling in and uh, we're gonna get her started. But it's raining, so I'm heading right now. But yeah. TDF gang, so we finally got the car back running and driving again, All right? So we got the belt on, hooked everything else back up, got cooling in it, so I just drove it around the block. However, like when we first started it up, you know, I had to jump it, of course. It's been sitting for over a month. So when I started it back up, I was just too excited and I forgot to record the startup. <clears throat> so this is not gonna be like the first startup. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a startup, you know. Let's hope it starts up this time. Oh my gosh. I can honestly say, since I bought the car, that's probably the best startup it's had. Hold on, I gotta do that again. There's one more time for good measure. Oh my gosh. I'm like blown away. But, you know, we're almost there. Almost back on the road. So now, that's left. I gotta get a bulb for my um, rear window, brake light or whatever. I gotta order the, the windshield wipers for this. I tried a few options, but none of them seemed to work. I gotta order the OE windshield wipers. I'm looking at Bosch ones. Um, and then I gotta get new tires. And after that, we can finally get it reinspected. Everything should pass. We fixed everything they said was wrong, unless something else broke, which I sure hope not. Uh, even though we replaced the tie rod, um, we did a pretty good job with eyeballing the alignment. I just drove it around the block. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty straight. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just can't believe it's back running again. It's been so long since I've driven my own car. <sighs> All right, well, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'll catch y'all later. Or at least this clip. I don't know if I'm going to add anything else to this video. I probably will. Who knows? Oh, well. See y'all later.